Can you take me to a boom boom bar? Me, me, me. Boom boom bar. Me. How much? Boom boom. No, no. The place is called Boom Boom Bar. And it, boom boom means sex in like Southeast Asia, right? In Korea, they call this, uh, I think, so mek. So soju, mekju. In Korea, they call beer mekju. And when you mix them together, they call it soumek. And this is a recipe for disaster. So uh, today I'm gonna feed her. Feed you and your sister. Oh, good friend. Thank you. Dog. Just friend, Thank just you. friend. Yeah, just friend. Real friend. <laughs> I got friend zone, y'all. <laughs> friend zone, yeah, sure. Check one, two with your boy John. What's going on? We're in uh, Vientiane, Laos, and uh, we're just gonna walk around today. Maybe go to my friend's bar, get something to eat, and uh, check out what's happening in the city center. So uh, stay tuned. This is my tuk tuk driver. What's your name? Just Mr. Tui. Mr. Tui? Okay. It means Mr. Fat. <laughs> Can you take me to a uh, boom boom bar? Me, me, me. Boom boom bar. Me. How much? Boom boom. No no boom boom bar. Bar. Boom boom. Me. You say. You came Kong member. No, you Yen Chen No no no. Boom boom bar then bar. Not uh, boom boom. Uh, me, yeah. Hand hick bird boom boom. This go. Uh. Ba ba been bar. Bar. Ba kim bia. Me you came Kong. Ba ba sap. Today. Asip. Okay. Bye. I wanted to go to a place called Boom Boom Bar, and yeah, that's my friend's shop. But I think he got misconstrued and thought I wanted to go to like a like a I don't know what you call it to a prostitute place. But we're going to the city center now for fifty thousand keep. Just like two or three dollars. Okay, so I'm finally at the bar. The bar is like situated close to the Mekong River. And it's like around like the night market around here. So you can get a whole bunch of food and actually buy some drinks right here. It's the only bar around Mekong. And it's called Boom Boom Bar. And there it is. Here's my friend uh, Anna. Say hi, Anna. Hi. So this is Anna. Every time she starts the bar, what happened? I have to give to my Buddha for being lucky, you know, in the shop to bring the customer. Yes, uh, and that's what we believe. What you sell, you have to put it uh, to the land, like a. So yeah, it's kind of like an offering to the gods, yeah, spirits. Like the ghosts or something around here, you know, in this place. Ah. That's what we believe. And I always have something to say in there, like... <laughs> what do you usually say? You give them a free shot of beer. Uh, uh, I cannot tell you because they say what I wish is not come true if I say that. So, uh, maybe one, one day I'm going to tell you, but not, not now. Okay, don't tell me. Just do it. <laughs> She's offering the beer to the gods and the spirits so she gets good luck and they don't um, cause trouble. So right at the corner of the bar. Look, every day I have one, for it, but not put all, half only. All right. But I bring it back. Every day, huh? Yeah, every day. So this god is getting really drunk. <laughs> like me. No, you have to Good. keep to yourself, right? Good. Yeah. Or else it won't come true. Yes. It's kind of like a birthday wish. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Uh, because we believe for everything what you sell, you have to keep to them a little uh, bit. I see sometimes they give like fruits, cigarettes, yeah. alcohol, yes. soda. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so that's a little bit of uh, yes. Buddhist culture. Yes. Uh, yes. Cool, cool, but cool. But this one is not, not like for the Buddha, but this one for the ghost. The ghosts, like the evil. In this, in this land. 
So you want to keep them happy? Yes, keep them happy and make them like bring to love, something like that. So they don't that's cause trouble see. too? Yeah, that's uh, why my shop is always like lucky. Uh, Only good so people come in and nice. helping me to close all the yes, shop. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> you always got to offer the spirits that are around here that maybe died and you want to keep them happy, I guess. In my culture, you usually pour out a little beer or um, some liquor for the homies. So over here, they do it for the evil spirits, I guess. Not evil spirits, but spirits. Let's see this Boom Boom Bar menu. Say hi, Asia. This is, you guys are sisters, right? Yes, brothers and sisters. So this is the Boom Boom Bar uh, menu, I guess. They also got food. You have food? Me a hand, my. No. So this is a fake menu. <laughs> There's no food here. But maybe in one month they're gonna maybe try to get like some tacos or something. Uh, okay, let's order something. So they got cocktails, whiskey, beer, soft drinks, pretty much everything, even wine. But I think I'm gonna go for uh, some beer and maybe some soju. Soju, which is like the Korean um, liquor, I guess. It's like Korean vodka. And I'm going to be mixing it with the beer lao, the local beer here. In Korea, they call this, uh, I think, so mek. So soju, mekju. In Korea, they call beer mekju. And when you mix them together, they call it so mek. And this is a recipe for disaster. Because usually when I drink it, I black out. So I think you put like 50% beer. And then maybe 50% of the soju. For my VIP customer. It turned me into an alcoholic. Ever since I come here, I don't create content. I'm just drinking at this I think because you're happy to come here, that's why you drink. Because, I mean, if people are not happy, they cannot drink. Yeah. Drink and be happy. So when working at a bar, you only drink one beer? Yes, only one beer. Why? <laughs> I assume you, uh, like, uh, bartenders always have to drink because you always have to entertain the guests and stuff? For me, one is enough if I drink slowly. Pretty yeah, smart. Slowly. But uh, okay, I don't mind if the customer, but for me, I can drink still. Yeah, lady drink. <laughs> <laughs> I bring everything for you guys. Yeah, yeah. So cheers, cheers, cheers. So many guys happy. Good luck on the business. Thank you. So the bar has only been open for one month, right? One month and one week. Oh. Yeah. So if you're ever in uh, Vientiane, come visit Anna. The place is called Boom Boom Bar. And. It, boom boom means sex in like Southeast Asia, right? <laughs> you can think like two ways, like I said. Yeah, but for me, the meaning what I think is like explosion. Like, you understand? It's like sex a is an explosion too. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Hard to say, I don't know. All right. But I think it's nice name and funny. It is I, funny. Because yeah. I like to make people smiling. Yes, everyone likes that name. <laughs> If you ever come to like Southeast Asia, there all the tuk tuk drivers are gonna yeah. ask you to sell you weed, boom boom, <laughs> ping pong show, soapy massages. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. No have ping pong show here, yeah, dude. Maybe later. Yeah. All right, right now we're gonna order some food. I'm gonna give them like a hundred thousand kip, which is like I think six dollars, and I'm gonna give it to her. I wanna see what a local girl in Laos orders in the, I guess, food market, so here we go. Asia, you ready? Here, take this. This is yours. Asia, what are you going to order? You order whatever you want. I don't care. Why? So we got some barbecue calamari here. God damn. They also look like they have some tentacles. I need half No. How much? 45. 45? 
Sisi pa, pa. You getting one of these? So we're also getting some sticky rice for 5,000 baht. Give me a lot, huh? Give me a lot. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. We got some chicken wings and what's this? Any other? Nom. Like nom? <laughs> so nom means the breast of the pork. No, no pork. Oh, this beef. This is this is beef. Breast of the cow, I guess. I actually never tried this. John, I want to eat bamboo soup. Yeah, it's coming. It's coming. It's fifty thousand. Huh? There. Here. She said, no, it's a fifty thousand. Uh, thirty thousand. Why she say fifty? No, thirty thousand. Ah, beef. <laughs> oh no. I'm probably getting scammed. But it's okay, it's okay. It's only about. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you guys say something before you eat? No. Uh, no, but uh, for the for the end, normally, like uh, when we are at home, when I'm the chair of before. Uh, my father and my mother like to teach us like after you finish the food you have to do like this mm. oh, like really? say thanks to to the food you understand don't say anything just do like this in the end after you food we so, not play before we eat but we do like this after we eat so in some cultures we say uh, before we eat oh. like bon appetit oh in you France. mean you mean like oh okay oh. in Laos we say also certain self like enjoy your food, something like that, right? Sunsep. Sunsep, sunsep, sunsep. In Lao language. Okay, let's try this out. Let's try this out. Chụp chàng nói nương ba. Chụp ba đen. You like it? Very good. Has like an earthy taste. Ba nó ba nó thanh thanh. Um, ba nó ướt. A little bit spicy too. Yeah. A little bit. For us, it's nothing. But I have to try it with the bamboo because since it's like bamboo soup, yeah. you gotta try it bamboo. Yes, right. Maybe a little bit of the mushroom. <coughs> it's a big mushroom. Check that out. And I think how much was this today? This one? Hasip. 50,000 gib. I got scammed. Yeah, but normally they sell 30,000 gib. Yeah, I got scammed. I told you, but if you want to order something, let me order for you. It's cheap. She scanned me? Yeah. Really? And she tell you like, okay, she make too much for you, but it's not too much, it's the same. So maybe she charged me an extra dollar for this. Which is not a lot, but it's okay, whatever. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Why do you think she uh, charged me more? Because I was filming. you don't look like Lao. I'm Lao. Because she thought that's, because you're speaking English. That's why, yeah. So you need to be careful a little bit. What else is in here? We got mushrooms, bamboo, some pumpkin, and a little, and it's a little bit chilly. It's got a few yeah, chilies. and and in here is like, it's good vitamin, no? From the. I bet it's super healthy. Yeah. Look at that. Healthy. It's vegan. You cannot get fat from this soup. It's vegan. Check that out. It got some you pumpkin, see, uh, mushrooms. A lot of Lao people. Oh, it's very good. A lot of Lao people they're not fat because of they like to eat vegetable. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she says you fat. Oh. I saw that look. I saw that look. She like. No, <laughs> All right. So this is the beef yeah. breast. Yes. Try it out. No sauce. No sauce. No. The new sauce. We thought just already tasting. But it's good. We also got uh, some chicken wings, which is also very good. And I think it costs maybe 20,000 kip, which is a dollar. And that's a pretty good price. So you get like three wings and some chick uh, beef breast, I guess. So chicken wings are a little bit warm, but it's still good. Is it marinated in something? They put a the sauce? Yeah, they put some like a bouillon, you know bouillon? Some salt and some salties. Yeah. Salties sauce on it. Oyster sauce on it. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's try some of this. Uh, Bing bamuk. 
Pet ball. No. Pet? Can I use hand? Uh, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Lao style. So in Laos, we eat with our hands. Just, just not use feet. <laughs> you, can use, you can use feet if you want. <laughs> so this is the Bing Pamuk. What does Bing Pamuk mean? Bing means barbecue. Mm. Pamuk mm. means what? Squid. Oh, okay, okay. So mm. this is I'm just asking. <laughs> and it's a. Uh, I guess it has like seafood sauce on it and a lot of herbs. Yeah, only seafood. What is that? Thai. Mm. Mm. So this is egg? This doesn't look like eggs. So in the Ping Pamuk, they also got eggs and I guess it looks like this. This is eggs. It looks like fat. No. It's egg, right? Really? Yeah. Check it out. This is The egg actually tastes really good. Maybe better than the calamari. Yeah, because outside it's strong, but the, for the egg it's more soft. So the egg is right there. This is a female squid. Long I guess. There you go. Should I put some herbs on them? There you go. One shot. It's good. It's good. It's good. Sorry, guy. I can't stop. Eat. She working all day. So uh, today I'm gonna feed her. Feed you and your sister. Oh, good friend. Thank you. Right. Just friend. Thank just you. friend. Just friend. Yeah, just friend. Real friend. <laughs> I got friend zone, y'all. <laughs> friend zone. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So you're single. Damn! Both of you, single. What's your type? What's your type? Flung, Kun Lao. I don't even have to ask you. Sorry. I don't eat you. Oh, go ahead. Chew, 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 chew. What about you, Asia? What's your type? Hang on, hang on. I think you. No, you don't have to think. You know. Uh, she never had a boyfriend. Oh. No, she eh, never had a boyfriend. How do you know? Uh -huh. No, but. Uh -huh. What are you waiting for? Oh. <laughs> She's studying, but yeah. concentrating on school. That's good. That's better, actually. For me, um, you know, you say what I like. Big, dark, handsome. A lot of money. <laughs> No. Usually a lot of girls in Laos like a guy, a lot of guys with money. Number one, you have to be like, okay, everyone like the guy looking good first. Big muscles? Yeah. Gotta have a six pack to date Anna? Better, why not? <laughs> and? No, um, but personality is uh, important. Like number one. good guy, you know, good heart, good talking, good thinking, positive. But I don't know if happy this world. <laughs> <laughs> There's a few guys out there that have that. Yeah, good but looking, I like the guy good looking. Good looking, good looking yeah. Good looking. Even I'm um, not very good looking, but I like the guy good looking. Have good me? Huh? What about you? Ah. Uh, Bohu. What you, Asia? You didn't say nothing. I. Uh, Kun Lao. Like. Not picky. So if you come to Boom Boom Bar, she not picky. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Food.